Hey guys, James Reeves, TFB TV over here at the Global Ordnance booth with my buddy Sam. Of course, very popular with you guys out there, the Strybog. So I've got to stop by and I've got to see what's new for the Strybog lineup. You guys have had a ton of success with this pistol caliber carbine. So every time I see you, whether it's Iwa or SHOT Show, there's always something new and different that you're doing with it. Sam, give us the rundown, Absolutely. please. Thanks for having us, James. So we're doing a few different things. Obviously, we just had the brace ruling come down, and we're all trying to sort it out, read it. I don't I don't know if all of us have ever even read all of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've been working on a few things in, in perspective for that. First thing is most of our pistols will come with a Picatinny backplate with a QD, so you can continue to use a pistol with a longer barrel with a sling shooting, or, you know, if you SBR it or whatever, you can put one of the struts on it or whatever from SIG. So awesome little thing. And while we're talking about this guy, and this is really cool, just got back from Tech Branch. This is the TR-22. This is going to be a 22 Strybog made with the same receiver and lower receiver as the 9mm, so it's really robust. Really, really uh, non-steep uh, feed angle, so you can shoot really crappy 22 through it, and it runs Still and runs work. and runs. Um, so awesome little gun. Um, it's going to be you know a, a great little trainer, plinker, whatever you want to do if you want something a little more tactical looking. So we're excited about finally having that here. And um, how much is that going to cost, and when can I get it? That's going to be, um, so we got to place the order because it just got approved. Literally showed up right before we left. Awesome. And I flew it in, you know, checked it on an airplane. Um, so probably second quarter, we hope to see some product landing, uh, maybe mid-second quarter. Um, so they're probably going to be about the same price as the A1, maybe $50 to $60 less, because it is basically the same gun with a 22 bolt instead of a whole new gun like some of the other ones, like the GSA, uh, MP5, and stuff. So. My mom's going to watch this video, and she has no idea how much an A1 costs. Yeah, an A1 is going to be about $699 starting MSRP. Street price is about $50 less than that. Got it. Yep. Next. Next, we're working on SBRs and carbines, and to do that, we have to get be, they have to be 922R compliant. You can't import rifles into the U.S. unless there are certain configuration. Right. They can't accept a detachable magazine and so forth. So we have been working on getting those parts figured out. The ATF told us what parts were required, and it turns out a magazine is enough. A follower, a body of a magazine, and a base pad. So Three parts. for the Glock carbine, we can just buy Glock magazines from... Um, Magpul or ETS or any of those and those make it compliant. So that's where we're going to start with these carbines. Um, and then this is exciting. We'll talk about the carbine after. Um, Global Ordnance is introducing here today a U.S. made uh, reinforced nylon Strybog magazine that will be made here. It'll give us the compliant parts we need. It has an anti-tilt feature. It'll be priced really reasonably, probably around $25 to $29.99 okay. and you know good to go. So those will give us our parts. Now we'll move on to the carbine. We're going to do a couple different configurations. This is our hot top end configuration. We're going to use the F5 Havoc stock, which is awesome, adjustable, and foldable. Um, you know, really good looking stock, so it gives you a real tactical feeling rifle without, <coughs> excuse me, a real tactical feeling rifle without a lot of cost because these are still going to be price point. Also, KDG Gun Company is doing uh, rail extensions, and a few other people are. So this is going to be one of the carbine configurations. You know, it's an awesome-looking setup. It's going to be really clean. It's going to be really smooth. And then we're really excited. One of our one of somebody we've been working with, Franklin Armory, just dropped a binary trigger for oh, the Strybog cool. at this show. So it's going to be a lot of fun. This, you know, we're all worried about our SBRs and our braces, but <clears throat> we don't need to be afraid about a 16-inch. Nine millimeter. They shoot awesome. They're still light. They're still cheaper to shoot than a 5.56. Um, these are going to be a lot of fun and reasonably sure. priced, starting probably around $1,100 to $1,500, depending on the configuration. These okay. should be ready quarter two as well. Okay, and yeah. then up top we've got basically the same thing, just uh, some minor variation there. Yeah, absolutely. So there's some minor variation here. That's going to be with our PDW stock. You know, we've we developed this with Grand Power for the U.S. market um, originally for a uh, tail hook brace, but then. They made a mold to make an actual stock. And then this is the factory Grand Power um, handguard extension. It's a little thinner than I think most of us in the U.S. like. This is more of like a competition style handguard, but we will be able to offer this. Um, and then this is, the, um, this is also the A3 roller delayed Glock model. So we're really excited about that. And there's more calibers coming to the Strybog model lineup here shortly. Are you allowed to say? Uh, I mean, it rhymes with 45 and 10 millimeter. <laughs> Okay. All right. I think I look very subtle. Wink, wink, nod, nod. 
price on the carbines? The carbines are going to be between $1,100 and $1,500. Uh, we're going to hope to get that cost down by doing more assembly in the U.S., um, but we got to start somewhere. So. And they're going to be available when, and my apologies if you mentioned it already. No worries. It's going to be about quarter two, hopefully, for the Glock models, because that's our easy finish. Because our Strybog magazine, we're going to be doing a lot of testing, and it probably won't be, we won't see production models until the summertime. Sam, thank you so much, much for answering our Appreciate questions. You. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2023.